Hello and welcome to Trains, Planes and Automobiles. Right, what I'll be talking today is about the HMS Exeter from 1929. She was a heavy cruiser. The HMS Exeter, one of the most celebrated British warships of the Second World War. Thanks to her heroic role in the fight with a German pocket battleship, Admiral Graf Spee off the south of the River Plate in 1939. The HMS Exeter, a unique ship, she was in a class of her own, she was essentially very similar to the HMS York, launched the previous year, but with her beam increased marginally and with her twin funnels set vertically. She was the last heavy cruiser, that is with 8 inch 203mm guns, ever constructed for the Royal Navy. Though a sketched version 25 feet overall and with a fourth turret was designed but never laid down. The HMS Exeter was built at Devonport Dockyard. She was laid down on the 1st of August 1928. She was launched on the 18th of July 1929 and commissioned on the 23rd of July 1931. She was sunk in the Java Sea on the 1st of March 1942. The ship's main armament was her 6 8-inch 203mm Mark 8 guns, the same as those fitted to all other British heavy cruisers of the between the wars period, basically the First and Second World War, but in the mounts which limit them to a maximum elevation of 50 degrees, and with a range of 20, 27,000 yards. In today's... Um, <laughs> Measurements that would be 24.7 kilometers. Her prime anti-aircraft defenses were four 4 inch 102 millimeter guns in high aspect mounts. Twin two PDR pom poms, which with which sorry she was fitted on construction, were removed in 1933. After the Graf Spree fight, her secondary battery was replaced by eight 4 inch 102 millimeter guns and two eight barreled pom poms were added she mounted six torpedo tubes in two banks of three she was a heavy cruiser she had a four shaft geared turbines producing a total of 80,000 shp she had a length of 174.25 meters <laughs> Sorry, my facts here say millimetres, but metres. Um, she had, or we could say 575 feet. She had a beam or width of 17.75 metres, 58 feet. She had a weight of 8,400 tonnes of standard or 10,500 tonnes loaded. She had a 630 staff. And a little few facts about the HMS Exeter while she was in combat. The HMS Essex met the Admiral Graf Spree at 20 past 6 in the morning on the 13th of December 1939. Within 20 minutes she was so badly damaged by direct hits from a total of 7 11 inch 280mm shells that she was effectively out of action with none of her main own armament able to fire. She was to be out of water for over a year, but early 1942 she was in the Far East. At around 4 o'clock in the afternoon on the 27th of February, in company with four other cruisers and 11 destroyers, she met a Japanese force in the Java Sea. And in the course of a running fight she was hit after boiler room, sorry, in the boiler room, by an 8 inch 203 mm shell which slowed her to half a normal maximum speed. Two days later trying to run through the Sundra Strait she ran into a much superior Japanese force. The four heavy cruisers of the Natchi class, now it was the turn of her straightforward boiler room, hit there she was dead in the water. Her captain gave the order to abandon ship and scuttled her but as she began to settle, she was torpedoed by a Japanese destroyer and sank immediately. She had a range of 10,000 metres, 
So that was some facts about the HMS Exeter. Sorry I got a little bit bamboozled and confused with the writing at the end. Um, but hope you understood what I was talking about. A very famous a British a ship of a World War II. Thanks for watching, listening. Please like, comment, subscribe or look at my other battleship videos. Thank you. Bye bye.